Now, writing about such a controversial, emotional-laden subject like Hitler Youth um, is very difficult, was very difficult. I mean, when you think, just say the name Adolf Hitler and what it does to your heart. What interested me in the beginning was that these young people who joined the Hitler Youth were actually joining because they thought it was the patriotic thing to do. I mean, by the year 1930, Germany was in a mess. Uh, they are in a mess because they had lost World War I and they signed the Treaty of Versailles. And today, uh, most scholars agree that that treaty, was, the terms of that treaty were very harsh. Uh, by 1930, there was widespread unemployment. There was widespread poverty. Um, Germany had to pay these extremely high taxes called reparations. Um, to pay for the damage that they had caused. And along came a man like Adolf Hitler who promised that he would make things better. He promised jobs. He promised um, to end poverty. He promised to end those taxes so that the high taxes would no longer have to be paid. In essence, he promised to break the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. We know today that everything that he promised was no secret. He made his intentions very clear right from the beginning. Now some young people got on board with that message because they did not see hope in their future. Um, young people like Herbert Norcus, who came from very poor circumstances and saw that um, you know a good job was not likely in his future. He saw that, um, that he had little opportunity to go on to school because his family couldn't afford it. These were young people who got on board with that message.